Hello, in this video we're going to look at perfect competition by doing a multi-part comprehensive problem. Here is the market demand in a perfectly competitive market. There are 12 perfectly competitive firms in this market, each with the following marginal cost. Q, lowercase q, represents the output of the individual firm. What is the market equilibrium price and quantity? We're going to solve for market supply. First, we're going to recognize that in perfect competition, price equals marginal cost. So where I have marginal cost, MC on the left-hand side, I'm going to replace that with P. So price equals 0.01Q. We're going to solve this equation for Q. And we get the following. And just simplifying a little bit, Q equals 100 times P. 1 divided by 0.01 is 100. And this is the individual firm supply equation. Now to get the market supply equation, we have 12 firms just like this one. So the market supply is going to be 12 times the individual firm supply, where lowercase q is 100p. So 12 times 100p, that is the market supply equation. We're going to set the quantity demanded equal to the quantity supplied. So here's our market demand, here's our market supply and solve for price, adding 100p to both sides, and dividing through by 1300. The equilibrium price is $5, and the equilibrium quantity, plugging this $5 either back into the demand or supply equation, plugging this $5 into the market demand equation, the equilibrium quantity is 6000. Now we want to solve for the output of the individual firm. So we're going to plug $5 into the individual firm's supply equation. And as we saw in the first slide, the individual firm's supply equation is Q equals 100P. So plugging $5 into that, the individual firm will produce 500 units. And since there are 12 firms each producing 500 units, it's another way of getting 6,000 units of output, backing into that number. What is the profit of the individual firm? Let's assume each firm has a fixed cost of $722. We want to solve for the total cost by integration of the marginal cost equation. So we're going to take the antiderivative of the marginal cost equation. That's our marginal cost equation for the individual firm. So the rule here uh, to take the integral of that is as follows. So x raised to the power of n. Here our x is q and it's just raised to the power of 1. You do the following. So applying that integral rule to our marginal cost equation where n in our case that's just q raised to the power of n so n in our case is just 1. So we get 1 divided by 1 plus 1 and then on the exponent here in a q term it's n plus 1 where again n is 1 plus the constant. So just rewriting that last step and simplifying here a little bit in the denominator 1 plus 1 is 2 and in the exponent 1 plus 1 is where the squared term is coming from and the constant here is just going to represent fixed cost which is $722. So we have the following and we can simplify this 0 0.01 divided by 2 to get the following result. So the profit for the individual firm is going to be revenue minus cost, where revenue is price times quantity, and we have our individual cost equation for the firm. And plugging in the $5 price for P and the 500 units of output for lowercase q. And now simplifying, the firm's total profit is $528. Now let's find the lowest price a firm will stay in business in the long run. So what is the lowest price a firm will stay in business in the long run? The firm is willing to earn a normal rate of return in the long run or zero economic profit. That'll occur where price equals the minimum point on the average cost curve. So here's our average cost equation. How did I get that? I just took the cost equation and divided it through by Q. So that's average cost. And now we want to minimize average cost. So here's average cost. We're going to minimize it. We're going to take the derivative of average cost with respect to output. 
The derivative of 0.005q is 0.005. And the derivative of 722 divided by q using the quotient rule gives us this result. And because we're minimizing, we're setting this derivative equal to 0. We're going to solve this equation now for q. Moving some things around. Cross multiplying this q squared. Dividing through by 0 0.005. And now taking the square root of both sides. q equals 380. When Q is 380, average cost will be minimized. So plugging this 380 back into the average cost equation, we get an average cost of $3.80. So the lowest price a firm is willing to sell its output in the long run is $3.80, the price that generates zero economic profit. If the price is $3.80, the firm produces 380 units of output and earns zero economic profit. Okay, that's my problem.